Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. We are fortunate enough to have a very, yet again, another very unique bomber bottle from the Stone Brewing Company. Um, this thing is really cool. Um, we call it the r and Coconut IPA. It's part of their 2013 collaboration series. Um, essentially what it is, is two guys, one named Robert, one named Ryan, won the 2013 Home Brewing Contest, and this is one of the beers they dreamt up. Um, it's an Indian Pale Ale flavored and brewed with real coconut. 7.7% ABVs. Stone collaboration right here on the label, 2013. Um, it's really cool. So if you look on kind of the story here, let's see if it's on this one yet. Um, so it talks about one of uh, Ryan Rescan, I believe is how you say his name. It says, on the nose you get a lot of stone fruit. Apricot, peach, and nectarine with some sweet orange melon, dried mango, and tropical fruit punch from the hops, along with some toasty coconut sweetness. That's a lot of stuff to think about to put into one beer. But they did it, and they won, which is awesome. Um, another quote, I love the tropical spin that Robert and Ryan added to an already great IPA recipe. A true test of beer like this is a balance between fruity hop and coconut flavors. With this one, you feel like you're drinking a tropical drink on the beach. So this is one of the things to talk about when I do some of my reviews and I get on the high horse about this. You don't want too much of one thing, too little of one thing. You want a nice balance. So clearly these guys figured out how to balance all those fruits together with a background of a banging IPA. Sounds like an awesome thing. Let's try it. Because I have never had it. This is a limited release. I believe I bought it for $10, I think. 9 or 10 bucks. It wasn't a lot. Um, Stone Brewing Company caps. I always tell you what's on it because they kind of have different ones. Quote. All-time top brewery of planet Earth, 2008-2010 Beer Advocate Magazine. So, let's check this bad boy out. I have really become a fan of Stone Brewing Company after their Enjoy Guy came out. I have labeled that as my favorite beer of 2013. And we're not even done with 2013. So, um, looks like your traditional IPA. It's got that kind of, what I call that traditional stone white head. Um, not too thick, not too thin, kind of hangs around typically the whole time, very filtered, just a teeny bit of carbonation. Smells fruity and sweet, but it's not a ton. Definitely smells some really nice hops. Um, I don't know what the IBUs are on this. IBUs are 90, and you could, I would have guessed at least 80. Wow, that is very good. You can barely taste the coconut. Barely. You can definitely taste what they talked about, having a fruit, whatever, cocktail on the beach. It, there's a lot of backgrounds of the mangoes and the nectarines and the peaches or whatever they said earlier. That's good. It's subtle. It's not as powerful of, of an IPA um, as some of the other stone... Uh, brewing company beers. It's very easy to drink. There's no bite to it. it. Smells really good. It's very different. I like this a lot. It's good. We've had a little bit more carbonation. It's definitely flattening out as it's as it's uh, been sitting. The head's almost totally gone, which most of these stone beers it kind of hangs around for a little bit longer. I think I'd like it a little bit better. It's good. It's very unique. Um, I spot on what they said about mixing in that subtleness of the coconut and the fruit. Um, it tastes great. I mean, I'd definitely buy it again. Um, I'd buy Enjoy Buy before that, but then again, I think Enjoy Buy is, without a doubt, the best beer of 2013. I realize I'm not reviewing that one right now, but I had that this week as well. Um, this is good. They used 280 pounds of coconut in this, uh, in this brew. And uh, they essentially said they're trying to uh, make an innovative beer with a uh, refreshing C C C A change for an IPA for lover IPA lovers everywhere. This is good, very very different, but not like as different as I thought. Um, when I first was introduced to this, they said, you know, you need to try this one. I'm like, I like coconut, but I don't like coconut in my beer. I don't, I'm not interested. And he goes, just trust me. Just this is the owner. He says, just trust me on this one. You're gonna like it. Um, and it's good. I'll definitely enjoy this. Um, I'd probably give it at least a four. 
don't know, our rating scale between one and five, maybe a four and a half. I mean, for nine or ten dollars for a bomber bottle for a quality beer like this, it's awesome. I totally see why it won what it won because you can't find anything else like this brewed with coconut and all these other fruits. That's awesome. So, great beer for the summertime. I'm glad I bought it. If you get a chance to buy it, buy it. Leave comments on our YouTube channel. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.